This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research through funding by the America View Consortium. This video was developed in partnership with the Virginia Geospatial Extension Program and GeoTED UAS. Its contents are solely the responsibility of the authors and do not necessarily represent the official views of America View, the USGS, or other partners. The mention of trade names or commercial products does not constitute their endorsement. In this chapter, we cover band combinations in ArcGIS Pro. Your text has a brief review of Landsat 8 spectral channels, a discussion on band combinations, and how different features can be identified using specific bands. Landsat 8 bands each cover a different region of the electromagnetic spectrum. By combining three or more bands, images can be displayed in the red, green, and blue format of a computer display. Each band can help distinguish separate features on the Earth's surface. See the table at the end of this chapter in your text for details on the usefulness of individual bands and combinations of bands for identifying specific surface features. Let's learn how to create different band combinations in ArcGIS Pro. For this chapter, we'll use the composite image that was created in Chapter 15. Don't forget to set workspaces and link the projects folder. The map project should look similar to this as you begin. There are several ways to change the combination of bands for a color composite image. Let's begin with the shortcut button for band combinations. Click on the raster layer tab and then appearance. Click on the down arrow by band combinations and there are three preset options, but be careful using these. Hover over natural color. Recall that natural color uses the wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum in the visible range, red, green, and blue what ArcGIS Pro calls bands 1, 2, and 3. However, in Landsat 8 imagery, band 2 is blue, band 3 is green, and band 4 is red, so this preset will not work for us. Similarly, color infrared assumes bands 4, 1, and 2 for near-infrared, red, and green. But in Landsat 8, near-infrared is band 5. We can instead create our own presets for these combinations that we use a lot and give them a logical name. Click on Custom. Let's create a natural color preset for Landsat 8 by setting red to band 4, green to band 3, and blue to band 2. Name it Landsat 8 Natural Color and click Add. This new preset will appear in the drop-down list. And the image in the display window does now look more like features seen on the Earth. This is how natural color or true color should appear. Let's also create a Landsat 8 color infrared preset. The Landsat 8 bands for color infrared are 543, or band 5 is red, band 4 is green, and band 3 is blue. Landsat 8's band 5 is the near-infrared. Normally, we can't see data from this segment of the electromagnetic spectrum, but we've arranged band 5 so that ArcGIS Pro displays the near-infrared band using the color red. Using this band combination, vegetation appears red because healthy or more vigorous vegetation is highly reflective in the near-infrared band. Another option for visualizing band combinations is simply using symbology. Go to Symbology for the image. Once Symbology is open, just change band numbers to the appropriate colors. Right now, for our image, the combination is 543. Let's change to the natural color combination of 432 and view the image in natural color. Now let's do a closer comparison of these two combinations. We'll visualize another band combination later. Create a copy of the image and change the top image in the table of contents to natural color symbology. Now select the top image and use the swipe tool on the appearance tab to compare the two images. Let's examine the water bodies in these images. 
In the western portion of the scene is the New River, which is fairly evident in the natural color image, but in color infrared, the entire course of the river is quite obvious. This water body in the north is Carvin's Cove, a reservoir for the city of Roanoke. Carvin's Cove is barely visible on the natural color image, but is very prominent on the color infrared image. Smith Mountain Lake, located in the southeast, is large enough to be visible in the natural color image, but the lake is clearly evident in the color infrared image. Also notice that the lake is not all dark. Smith Mountain Lake is a reservoir, and north of the dam, the river which flows into the lake is heavily laden with sediment, which is displayed as a bright light blue. Now what about vegetation with these band combinations? Remember that this is a summer image from Virginia from June 14, 2016. Within this region are extensive forests that include both a national forest and a state forest. Green in the natural or true color image is associated with vegetation as you'd expect. Red in the color infrared image shows vegetative color much more prominently, both forests and agriculture. Not so apparent in the natural color, the agricultural fields appear as lighter shades of green and as various shades of pink in the color infrared image. Let's try another area of the scene. Zoom in to the city of Roanoke. Can you see any specific features within the city, say roads or the airport or some golf courses? You can see the Roanoke River, but it is barely visible in natural color. In the color infrared image, the river is visible in the southeast of Roanoke, but within Roanoke, the river almost disappears. Let's try a different band combination, 5, 6, 8, which we'll explain later. All of the bands associated with this image are outside of the visible spectrum, but now the river is a distinctive line through the city. Be sure to explore different band combinations following the tables and charts at the end of the chapter. We're now ready to proceed to the next set of chapters, which discuss image enhancement techniques. We'll be using the same subsetted 11-band composite image in those chapters, so save your project.